today we're talking about Keppel's once again. I honestly thought that the last time I talked about her would be the last time, but what's going on currently is just so funny, I really want to talk about it. So, if you don't know, Keffels is a streamer who really came into popularity from getting Destiny banned off of Twitch and Twitter. Twitch is allegedly, Twitter is confirmed. That's all you need to know. Funnily enough, she got banned off of Twitter herself for a short amount of time. And as of, I believe, yesterday, she officially got banned off of Twitch. She announced this in a tweet that said, My account got mass reported before I even started and I am banned from Twitch. I'll do the stream on YouTube instead. You can't stop me. So honestly, that kind of sucks. I don't think that she should get banned. Uh, Basically, what happened was she was allegedly going to go after Destiny because of the fact that he was like leading a hate brigade against her and the reason she got banned is because she had a thumbnail with a bunch of like homophobic slurs on it because she was showing all the stuff that she had gotten called and because of that she got mass reported and she got banned. She then says, I was mass reported and banned on Twitch and upon restarting the stream on YouTube I was immediately brigaded by Destiny's community and we had to turn YouTube chat off. He doesn't want me to cover this. I am just about to start discussing his connection to Kiwi Farms. Now, I eventually found the link to her video where she was going after Destiny because I went to her channel and it just wasn't there. So I eventually found the link on her Twitter, but she had pirated, pirated, not pirated the video. She says, I'm uploading the VOD so my editor can put out a more clean version of the stream in the next week. I'm streaming on YouTube now, I guess, until I get my account back in 30 days. That's crazy that she got banned for 30 days. It's really stupid that she took down the VOD to get it cleaned up. I wonder if she said something stupid. I couldn't catch the VOD, so we don't know. I mean, she could have put out, like, a masterpiece. Genuinely, a, a masterpiece and just taken down Destiny completely. But we wouldn't know because the VOD is gone. There's nowhere to find it. I, I've checked. I've checked. Now, maybe someone will re-upload it. And if you have it, I'd like for you to re-upload it. So, at least I can see. And if it does get re-uploaded before I put this out, I'll add it in and give some commentary on it. As I do. But it is weird that she took it down. Because normally when you stream on YouTube, it stays up. Like, that's just how it is. I don't know what her thought process really is. If that's the truth. It's weird, regardless, but hey, whatever. As a quick aside, I saw an interesting tweet talking about Keffels and Destiny, and I wanted to throw this in before we get into the whole Kiwi Farms, Destiny type of stuff. I think if you follow Destiny, you gotta know that you're just an effed up person, right? Like, you can't do all of this and still think you're in the right, or that you're a leftist, LMAO. Like, y'all gotta be on crazy levels of cope to think what y'all did to Keffels and others is fine. So this is probably one of the best examples of no true Scotsman that I've ever seen. Like someone just deciding someone's mentality and views. And I'm probably not explaining this the best, but someone deciding how someone is. That's not really no true Scotsman, at least I don't think. But I I really feel like this is a a really good example of like, oh, you were never a real leftist. You were never a real Republican. You were never really one of us. Because if you were, you would agree with us. This is a dumb mindset to have. Oh, because we agree on this one thing. We are, and our views align pretty much every other way. Oh, we are not in the same category. That doesn't make any sense. Now, what Destiny's fans have allegedly been doing, because I don't have any proof of what they've actually been doing, and I'm going off of speculation, and we're going to say that like I did with Keffels, I'm going to say it for Destiny and literally anybody else, Because that's how the benefit of the doubt works and that's how due process works, even though a lot of people don't adhere to it. But what these fans have allegedly done is the worst thing in the world. Like, they're acting like they're beating people in the streets. Like, it makes zero sense. I have no idea what's going on. I don't think Keppels really knows what's going on. I don't think this guy knows what's really going on. And I feel like everybody's just flinging stuff constantly. It's really weird. 
Oh, and also Destiny is like back on Twitter Twitter now. That's kind of weird. Anyway, on to the Destiny Kiwi Forms stuff. Keffel says, just got sent the chat log. Destiny told his community to mass report my Twitch account. And so, just looking at this. So, I have no verification of whether or not this is Destiny. This is somebody claiming to be Destiny from what I can see. But I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt here. Just, but... Hypothetically speaking, if this is him, then it's a little weird to go after somebody to ban them, except for in this case. While I do think that anyone getting banned for something like this is stupid and egregious, when somebody like pretty much made it their like mission to get you taken down, I have very little sort of what's the word I'm looking for here. I, I I don't hold any grudge towards you trying to get back at the person is basically what I'm trying to get across here. Like, uh, you know, if it was somebody else, like, let's say Destiny was just going after Optimus or it's a Gundam, just random commentary names, right? Like, I'd be like, that's weird. A, they've done nothing to you. And B, like, why are you trying to get people banned? Why are you trying to deplatform people? Because I'm pretty sure he's anti deplatforming. So this it would be so lame. But I feel like here he's just being like, oh, she got me. I'm trying to get her back. So while it's not the best method, I get it. Here's Destiny on his verified Kiwi Farms account saying he's known the person who runs the site for 10 years and played StarCraft 2 with them. Here's another user getting mad at him for stealing content from my thread for Twitter and linking my Kiwi Farm thread with dead name on stream. Dude, I can't even read some of these. A, they're so small. And B, like when I zoom in on them, they're just, I can't read them. Jesus. We can see the little thing next to Destiny's name. So I guess this is. Ooh, okay. So I had to take a call. So I stepped away from this for a little bit. And uh, we're just gonna hop right back into it. So, like I said, I can't verify anything. And she also took down the stream of her presenting this damning evidence. So, what am I gonna do? Like, what am I gonna say? Like, oh, this this is the stuff that's gonna send him away for good. Like, no, I don't. I don't have anything here. There's nothing here. Like, what am I supposed to go off of? Even all these screenshots, like the verified account, and I can't even read this one. When I say this one, I'm just talking about the one I showed earlier, where the text is all small, you can't even see it. Like, what? I don't even know. Maybe in the video you'll be able to see it a little bit better. I might have to like size it up, but when you zoom in on it, it gets all grainy, and you can't see it. Jeez. The moral of the story here really is like. Uh, don't accuse people of stuff that you can't prove because it's stupid and then when you go through your proof you're like what is this and that's why I try to say hey this is all alleged because otherwise it's, it's kind of weird to just accuse people of stuff and to end it off we have a tweet from Willie Mac show where he responded to uh, the announcement uh, from Sherm Band's bot that Oh, Keffels got banned. He said, perfect example of if you go after other people's mo money and platforms, you lose sympathy when your own gets deleted. Keffels responded and said, I got banned for an image that included a list of transphobic and homophobic slurs that were actually used against me and invoked by a streamer that is banned from the platform for hateful conduct. Anyone who laughs at me for getting banned for this just hates trans people. So, hey, I want to start off by saying, uh, no, you, you can't just paint this broad brush of, oh, well, if you laugh at me for getting banned after I cause all these other people to get banned, then you're transphobic. That's dumb. Like, bare bones, everything else aside, that's just stupid, right? Like, Twitch will ban you for dumb stuff, I know that, but still, you can't do stuff like this on Twitch and you know that like Hassan got banned for saying the word cracker right so you have no you have to know like you probably would have gotten away with this if you showed it in the stream instead of in the thumbnail which I can't find 
That's why I didn't include it. But, my goodness, I don't know what she thought was going to happen. Genuinely, I don't know. And at the end of the day, I don't even think she knew what uh, was going to happen. Wow, that was a weird way of saying what I was trying to say. But anyway, it's weird. Also, there's multiple transphobic slurs. Unless she's talking about... Also, there's multiple homophobic slurs. I, I didn't know that. Also, like, when Myers Leonard said that anti-Jewish slur, anti-Semitic, I mean, I had never heard that word before. That was a new word. I was like, what? It's so weird. Uh, quick aside, but the fact that he dug up this random word and just said it so stupid. Jeez. But anyway, that pretty much wraps up this video. Again, it was a pretty long one longer than most Keffel's videos, or well, most videos I do, but the Keffel's videos end up being longer because I have to explain why she's wrong so much. Jeez. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you all for watching. I really and truly appreciate it. Goodbye.